Hack Day is an intense two-day collaboration where project teams have two days to pitch an idea, assemble a team, and deliver on it. Hack Day taps into the powerful motivators of autonomy, mastery, and purpose. Autonomy, the ability to direct your own work, mastery, getting better and better at a skill, and purpose, tying what we do every day to the greater good. We started off with Pitch Day, where MSIS staff had three minutes to pitch an idea to an audience of their peers. All the pitches are intended to be things that help deliver on our strategy against our customer expectations of liberating and integrating data, increasing service experiences, anything that addresses our customers' expectations of MSIS. If we can make those things better, that'll be a successful Pitch Day. Welcome to Hack Day! Woo! First, to sign up for your hacks, uh, we've put up signs around the room with each of the topics on them. Teams self-organized by project and then started working on their hacks. What excited me most about Hack Day was the ability to watch all of my peers and colleagues uh, getting together and working in the smaller groups to come up with amazing solutions for really interesting problems that we might not be able to think about on a day-to-day -day basis. After getting settled, uh, teams started brainstorming ideas and planning out their hacks. The problem we're trying to solve is that it takes a really long time to um, process and visualize patient outcome data. What we're trying to do is make a system that allows um, researchers to more easily visualize their data and perform analysis. This is awesome because um, this is a broad spectrum of, of folks um, that are interested in solving this particular problem, so I'm, I'm really excited. So we have manual ways of uh, creating notifications and that is being done inconsistently across many applications. So what we are trying to do is to create a system that allows users to create email templates, manage it on the web, and then the applications to make use of those templates. We are trying to solve wayfinding uh, around the health system. Okay. That's the grandiose goal. The immediate goal for this prototype and this hackathon is to solve wayfinding around NCRC. And so what we're trying to do is come up with a medium to low tech approach to orient people within a building using QR codes. Okay. QR codes, like these. The problem we're trying to solve is that um, many of our end users have, uh, have to go to multiple places in order to search for a class in mLearning. We're trying to make it easier for them by giving them one stop shop. So the data is in mLearning, they get to see it real time, they click on it, they're able to enroll for a class of their choice. We did a brainstorm session in the beginning this morning and say, what exactly are we hoping to accomplish? And then we say, who has what skill set? We can divvy up the task according to that. So each one of us is doing our thing in parallel or together in sequence. Yeah, I don't think any of us were sure what to expect, but it, has, it just took off and everyone was excited. You could kind of see things, some of the energy level maybe going down in the afternoon, but then pick back up just before people kind of left for the day. The energy on day one was amazing, and by the end of day one, um, people were much farther along than we ever expected. Day two started with lots of caffeine flowing, so everybody come in refreshed and regroup uh, to get ready for the presentations at the end of the day. And we had some who were here late into the night and into the morning even, um, so just that, that level of excitement is really a pleasure to see. Uh, today, people started getting here early. Um, you could just see the focus uh, of everyone. It was just really exciting to see, I think. Burning a little midnight oil, figuring out some of these problems, but overall, feeling pretty good. Wonderful working with Jonathan, who I never get to work with, so that's been fun. Overall, how's the experience been? It's, it's great. I mean, it's something totally different. I mean, this is something I'm doing for the first time, and I'm sure if you guys did it before, but it's totally awesome. We should do these more often.
Oh, we got a lot of work ahead of us. We've sort of run into a few roadblocks, um, but we should be able to work through them. We've got uh, a good presentation coming together. Presentations are about to begin. You ready? Yep, let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> that was an awesome two days. I want to thank everybody. I think pitch day was fantastic. Let's give everybody a round of applause. Many of the existing applications that MSIS has built over the years provide an inconsistent uh, user experience for our customers. What we've done is we've selected two existing applications and we've skinned them using some of the design principles that have already been developed. This is the current uh, curry valve. So notice here, for example, the navigation. There's a long navigation here that can be a little overwhelming. So in addition to the reskinning, we've added a collapsible menu uh, to make it easier to navigate. The ultimate goal is to improve our user's experience. DocRocket is a uh, mobile-ready web application that uh, we created. There's some great features for med students. It covers a profile, grades and evaluations, calendar, to-do list, all kinds of things that med students have to worry about. This is based on the feedback that we had from the med student who said that when he's looking into uh, a mobile version, he wants the most updated and most important information first. It is both desktop and mobile responsive so students can log in on their way home um, and get to see what they need to do, uh, fill out for the day. Everything we're about to show you is doable and deliverable today. What we're gonna walk you today is the future state that we want to embark on right now. I'm gonna see if I can start the process here. So she comes in and it brings information from all kinds of different places together for her. Upcoming deadlines, new publications that have appeared, active funded projects. We know who she is, what she's doing, why she's there. We already know where she's at across all these other systems and we're focusing on her. This app is um, uh, for wayfinding around UMHS. It's using a low tech to medium tech approach uh, where it does not involve any network and is using QR codes to orient you as you navigate around the health system. Once you have the app installed, you look for the, for the wonderful My Way sign, scan the code, and it's gonna orient you on the map, and it'll give you turn-by-turn -turn directions. Who really could this not help? So do you know where we're going? The research auditorium, but I have no idea where it's at. Well, wait, I got this new app. Let's try it out. All right. We came down to one that we think has potential for probably the biggest and the broadest impact across the health system, and that would be my way. So uh, I, I've had a lot of people uh, coming up to thank me and, and thank Lauren and, and thank the, the other organizers uh, for putting on this event. Uh, but the truth is what made this event great is all of you. Uh, the energy and passion you brought to the last two days have just been amazing. Uh, and uh, you know, walking around those hack day rooms, you could just feel the energy in the air. So uh, I want you to take that feeling back to your daily work. The spirit of hack day, trust, teamwork, uh, collaboration, thinking outside the box, uh, working with purpose. These are the qualities that make Michigan great. And uh, if we want it bad enough, we can make every day a hack day. Just as an organization, I think there's going to be a lot of things that we're going to take forward. Um, there's a number of projects that we're kind of proving out concepts um, that will, in the end, help our development process, help us be more effective at delivering solutions quicker and, and um, across the board. Uh, these are all helping us as an organization get better at what we do and find new technologies and new ways that we can do things and incorporate those technologies. So I think it's hitting the mission in all the different areas in all the right places. So I'm very pleased.